Okay, so I've landed at this KOA. It's a pretty bad one. <laughs> it's not cupped up very well at all. I think it's more of a locational thing. So they get people coming in. They have people staying here all season because it, you, they have like shuttles that will bring you to like the Niantic, uh, the boardwalk and different beaches. And it includes like passes to get to the beaches and stuff but i'm not going to be using that so luckily for me i got a discount number one because i'm a koa member and number two because i've used some of my saved up things saved up points or whatever to get this for like half price half price was still expensive this is what my site looks like it's pretty much a pull through picnic table the fire pit is like right by the road supposedly there's like a food truck thing over there but they stopped doing the food truck <laughs> so it's not even available which is not a big deal because i have food here that i'm going to cook up i think i have some chicken to cook up some pasta so duders and i are just gonna kind of make camp for the night and i need to move all my stuff in the front uh because holly's gonna be i think riding with me after we go to this first place we're gonna meet up at this first place so i'm gonna have to move some of the stuff so she can sit there duders back in the middle and i'll probably keep that way uh because on sunday i'm heading back home i'm going up to pick mom back up at my cousin's house and we're driving back to syracuse and this week will be over with already <sighs> that's exhausting what do you want? He wants to come down here. He loves coming down here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay, we'll put you down here. Oh, I'll do a little haul of what I got from the flea market place. <laughs> there. There, duders. You're all set. He'll just sit there and look out the window. He loves sitting there because he can look out the window. Oh, and there's chickens. There is free range chickens, free, just free ranging around here. Okay, what did I get? I got some DVDs because I've learned this weekend that you don't have internet, we need entertainment. So I got the season one of Lost. I think I paid eight, yeah, I paid $8 for this. Plus it was like 15% off or something like that. So everything was like with 15% off. So I got Lost Season 1. I got Lost Season 2. <laughs> and they didn't have any more Lost. I was looking for it because I, like I said, I'm going to start collecting all these shows that I want to watch. And I saw, I was excited about this, uh, True Blood, the first season. I haven't watched True Blood in a long time. So I think we're going to bust this bad boy open and start watching this tonight. So I came out here to go to the bathroom. I heard, some, I heard a lot of commotion and I'm like, what's all this noise? I gotta show you guys something. Uh-oh, <laughs> Yeah, so I have no idea. If that's one or two. Focus, focus, one or two. Turn on. Come back, dooters. It's raining out. And we're watching uh, True Blood tonight. All right, guys, this is uh, editing me popping in here really quick because. I have to do a little bit of an explanation. The morning that I woke up and I got ready to meet Holly, the first stop that we went to, my phone was like ready to die. So unfortunately I had to leave it in my car and I wasn't able to record the first place that we went to. So I just wanted to talk about it for a minute in case you're ever in the Connecticut um, Niantic area in the fall time. There is this store, it's called The Book Barn, I believe. I'll leave it here. And th this place is absolutely huge. It's a used book outlet and it has 
a couple of different locations actually. It has like each location focuses on a, like a different type of uh, book, different type of genre. And the first area, the, the one area that we concentrated on that we went to, there was like this big, huge building with different levels. Like we spent at least, I said close to, I think, like two hours shopping around and looking at things. Uh, you can also bring your books there to like trade in. Once a year, they have this huge blowout sale. So that was the reason why we were meeting up there. Um, I did pull out look one of the books. I bought a I bought a bunch of things. I first at one of the locations, one of the annex locations, I did find some more uh, DVDs to go along with my Lost series, and I believe my True Blood. I think I found another season of those that are already put away in my van, and then I did find two hardcover. Uh, Dan Brown books. So I now have like the Angels and Demons and Infernos and then I have Lost Symbols. So I have all three of those plus I have the original um, Da Vinci Code. So I have all of those now which I'm excited about. And then this one I found that was uh, I thought was very interesting to me because I love these type of books which is um, Organizing for Creative People. And so I'm going to be reading through this yet. I haven't, I haven't read through it yet, but I have another book that's similar to this. And it really is, there really is a difference between when you're considered like a creative person, um, being organized and getting things done and stuff than somebody who is not as creative. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to dig into this. And then I did find, what was the other thing I found? I found this cute little book that was like for small gardens. And I thought that would be neat for, you know, around my house and stuff like that. Like how to do like small area gardening, container gardening, that kind of thing. Not very good at container gardening. You know, the only thing I can barely do is I have like a, this little aloe plant that I'm trying to root here in my dining room. So anyways, I just wanted to pop on here and kind of talk to you guys about that so I can show a little bit of, um, and I'll probably be, I'll probably have popped in some pictures of what the book barn looks like. And again, it's, lo it's located in uh, Niantic, uh, Connecticut. And once a year, it's around the first week of October, they have this huge blowout event. So if you're planning a trip up to New England, you know, keep that in mind because if you love used books, um, this was an amazing spot. So this video will now pick up after we have left the book shopping and we are heading towards um, our next location, which is Gillette Castle. So we made a little pit stop here at the Joshua Town Cemetery. And why, you ask? Because Holly's mom's in here and we had to go say hello. Hashtag Ben Life. <laughs> Thanks for the pit stop. No problem. Let's see. Can you see it? There we go. We can see Holly and Duder. Hi! I got the Duders. The Duders loves me. Look at the Duders. He loves me. Hi. Oh, I'm going to get the kisses. Oh, I'm going to get the kisses. <laughs> oh, dear. Polly and I had decided uh, previous to meeting up that we were going to check out Gillette Castle. This was something that I had spotted on my radar from my road tripper app. Luckily, Holly was very familiar with the castle. I'm getting myself a selfie with this gorgeous thing in the background. The one thing we never checked out on was whether it was actually open or not. And unfortunately on this day, the inside was closed for tours, but we did have an opportunity to take a tour around the outside of the castle. Let me tell you, this castle was just so magical. It's located in the southernmost hill of the Seven Sisters. This is just a remarkable stone fortress that just stands tall and majestic overlooking the Connecticut River. We explored the outside and 
helped out a bunch of people taking their own selfies around the kind of outside deck area overlooking the river. Um, you really can tell how eccentric and innovative the spirit of the person who built this castle was, which was the legendary actor William Gillette. Now, this the castle grounds spreads over, like, I think they said like 184 acres. Uh, very breathtaking, especially in the fall time. All around the river and all around the grounds, the, the trees, the coloring of the autumn colors was just... I, I could have stayed there all day. Did you get a day. picture of Duders dropping in a deuce? I didn't, but I got a picture of you picking it oh, up. Oh, lovely. Well, he should be good to go. He just needs his. He just needs a little drink. That's twice. Why well, I know. Well, he's. We're moving his bowels more than usual. He's usually just sitting, shotgun. You know. Probably. Yeah. See, my hair's a mess. I couldn't even take a nice picture. Cause <laughs> my hair's a mess. Oh well. <laughs> I want to go up there to the top. Should I stop here? Hotel, or should I move off and leave? <laughs>